Hello everybody, it's Cathy here and welcome to this live stream. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, tonight I was going to be talking about what the difference is between romantic love and love from source. And I decided, or well, not that I decided, I felt earlier on today in such a strange mood, such a strange energy, and I just got to that place where I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm meant to be doing this today. I don't know if I can be bothered. I'm really, really tired. This just doesn't feel right. It it feels like I'm really pushing this and it's not natural and flowing easily. Um, and so I was sort of in a bit of a quandary. As I was saying, I was just thinking about what can I, how do I do this? I have made a commitment to being here and I'm here every week. And, um, but I had such a resistance to actually getting on here. Hi, Junie. And, um, and so I, I, I wanted to sort of explore what was going on inside me. What was, what was this energy about that I was feeling? Because um, today should have been an amazing day. I should have been celebrating. And I sort of was in a way. Um, but the reason being because I've nearly finished uh, selling the places on my Activate Abundance workshop at the end of September. So, you know, yesterday I'd sold quite a few places and I was doing a little happy dance. And today more of those places went. So I had all of that on one side, but then I had this real sense of heaviness and they didn't feel at all connected. And so I was thinking, shall I cancel? Shall I do it on a different topic? And I was just so in my head that um, I just didn't know what to do. So I thought it would be useful to share what process I went through um, because it might really help you guys uh, if you're in that place where you know you should be doing something, but you, you don't feel like doing it. And a lot of the time, I think, particularly those of us on our, our spiritual path, we listen to our feelings so much and we tend to kind of operate from them and and um and normally you know it's it's a really powerful thing to do is follow your feelings but if you follow them and it's more because it's just energy and it's the emotion that you're in and you don't actually go deeper to find out what the feelings are then it can be um it could be something that actually takes you off track, that it's more of a distraction. And so I was feeling um, really distracted, I guess, is what you'd say. And so I thought, right, I'm going to do some so a few different processes to see what this is, because I felt like I should have been really happy and full of energy. And so the first thing I did was um, I started tuning in and just went really quiet and I started asking questions so the first question was um, how do I move forward with this energy so what I did was I connected I grounded connected above to source connected to my heart and just really stilled myself and I said uh, so how do I move forward with this energy and the answer came back do some art journaling so and because I was full of this uh, really conflicting energy so I did a bit of art journaling I'll <laughs> show you what I did so this came up so it was quite a heavy dark energy with something quite light and exciting at the top of it and then again just like lots of conflicting stuff um or quite frenetic frenetic sort of energy but when you do art journaling like that, it what it does is it allows you to tune into what you're feeling and it, it gives a sense of allowance. It gives you, it allows you to just be with whatever the feelings are, with what, what the energy is that you're, you're experiencing. And when you give it allowance, it's like it gives it space and then it can um, free up and start to move. So once I'd done that, I, st I found this sense of spaciousness inside me. The energy hadn't completely gone, but I wasn't feeling completely blinded by it. So the next thing I did after I'd, I'd done that, where I felt a bit more calm, was I asked another question, we connected, and I, was, I asked, am I meant to be doing this live stream? And oh, am I meant to be doing this live stream on the initial subject that I was going to do it on? And the answer came back, no, and it was very, very clear, no. So I asked again, 
and I'm meant to be doing this live stream on another topic and I got this really sad, uh, sort of light feeling that, uh, like a, an opening and an expansion and it felt really happy inside and um, so that felt like a really clear yes so I was like okay I'm meant to be doing a live stream I don't know what on um, show me what it needs to be on and um, and then during this it didn't drop in straight away and then head stuff dropped in instead and it was it was like oh I can't be bothered oh nobody will nobody nobody will mind people won't be there um you know is and I'm going to have to get dressed and put makeup on and not that I wasn't dressed but <laughs> you know I was gonna have to dress up and I don't know write notes and get busy and so you know there was more and more resistance coming up so again I sort of parked the resistance to one side and just asked again and this time I tuned into my body and so again I connected to the earth grounding connected above and just brought a really really slow sort of body scan through me feeling into all of this different resistance and you know there was a lot of different tensions in different parts of my body different lots of heat started coming up started releasing and again it sort of gave a real sense of spaciousness by the time i'd finished and um a such as just a sense of allowing again allowing for all of those feelings to be there and by the end of it i got the awareness that i was just incredibly tired because there's been so many uh things happening in life recently that's just taken my, my energy in all kinds of different directions lots of exciting things that's taken up a lot of head space and um then the the very clear information that came through was to share the process that i've been through to get clarity about what's going on because it, it's a really important and useful uh way of doing it so asking yourself and just that I talk about this quite often in my live streams about checking in with your body and feeling if something is right for you, if it's, if something's aligned, it feels light, expansive, expansive and spacious. Uh, and something that isn't right for you is feels contracted, heavy and, and uh, just like a feel, feeling of no, you get it in your body. I'll just read the comments. Inga says, so glad that you decided to go ahead as I was committed to show up for your live broadcast. Thank you. That's the thing is I made that commitment and it felt really important that I made it. And I felt really happy when I'd made that decision that, yes, I'm going to go ahead with it. And this was only sort of an hour ago, so I didn't know what I was going to be talking about. But yeah, so doing things on the fly like this is just something that I would never have done, you know, a couple of years ago. It's, it's um, or even... Um, six months ago doing live streams it would have terrified me when you can really tune into your body and your the subtle vibrations that are going on when you actually slow down because that's what it takes if you react to your feelings from a, a head place and you just go oh I don't feel good I'm not going to do it then you're actually missing a whole lot of information that might be there so if you slow down take some breaths and just really pause your body has so much incredible information to give you and below the initial sort of like layer where all the emotions are so mixed up and uh, you can't really tell what's there it's a little bit like um it, those tend to s settle after a while you can feel them still but they sort of separate out to different parts of your body as you put your awareness into them and then they start to kind of release that information about what's there. They might be tied up with different emotions. Uh, they might be tied up with different memories. When you actually um, breathe into those parts where you're feeling the resistance and tension, it tends to release some kind of awareness so that you can know what it's actually connected to. And then you get a new insight. But yes, really important to just listen to your body because it's so intelligent and it will um those kind of impulses that you, you get just by slowing down are going to really help you if you want to um do this for yourself i've actually got a a, a free um meditation called release resistance um 
which you can download from, I'll put it in the comments afterwards, but it's uh, www.kathyballard.com forward slash, forward slash release hyphen resistance. And you can download that for free. And it's, um, it's probably about a 15 minutes relaxation that will help you scan through every part of your body and just really relax. And uh, actually, Amy, it will, it will potentially help you sleep quite deeply because it will really help you focus into your body and out of your head, which is usually what uh, keeps stirring up all of those energies within us uh, because we just keep thinking over and over on them and it just keeps the, uh, it's like it keeps the wheels turning. So if you can withdraw focus from your head and back into the body and follow your breath, it really helps you fall asleep when, when you're naturally tired. So if I hope that's helpful to you, do please download the meditation and uh, let me know what you think. If you like, um, if you like what I've been talking about and you want to be notified when I'm next doing it, you can subscribe by, I think there's a subscribe button possibly next to the video. I know it's different on my screen at the moment. So I think that was everything I wanted to share with you, but following what feels light, what feels spacious, uh, what feels open and asking those questions to your body um, is really helpful for helping you move forwards. So that's it from me tonight. Just oh, just one last thing. Um, I do have about I think there's about two spaces definitely left, and there are a couple that aren't confirmed yet. But I'm waiting to hear back for the uh, workshop um, on the 23rd of September. It's Activate Abundance. It will be a one-day workshop. It's all about helping you connect with your um, with the source within you, your infinite, limitless self, so that you can start to connect with your vision of what your soul wants for you and help you move towards that, help you uh, understand how to release some of those layers of resistance that are stopping you from receiving everything that you most desire for your life. So uh, if that's something that you'd love to come and um, experience, it would be great to have you. And again, it's happening on the 23rd of September, just outside of West London. So that's it from me for now, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.